how do you build a calendar visual and a Gantt chart in Power BI? They're both custom visuals that don't exist in Power BI by default, so let's take a look at how to build them. A calendar visual is not a standard chart type, so let's click on Get More Visuals and Get More Visuals again. We're going to search for calendar and add it here. I'm going to click on the calendar visual and start by bringing in sales. I also need to bring in a date. I'm going to use order date and make this a little bigger. In order to color this calendar, I'm going to click on the format button, data colors. I'm going to do a minimum color of a light blue and a maximum color of a dark blue. And that's a calendar visual in Power BI. A Gantt chart is not a standard visual type in Power BI. If you don't have Gantt chart available, Click on these three dots and click Get More Visuals. You're going to search for Gantt Chart by XViz. I have it already, so I can click on Gantt Chart. I'm going to start by adding a start date and an end date. In my case, the start date is order date. Click on order date. Let's change order date to the exact date and move it down to start date. My end date is going to be shift date. So bring shift date onto end date as the exact date. We'll split the scan chart with order ID. Put order ID onto task name. And we have a Gantt chart. I'm going to filter this so we can see it better. So I'm going to grab order ID and just keep a couple at the top. If I hover over one of these marks, you can see that the start date is January 28th and the end date is February 3rd. I can show a duration here as well by adding a calculated field. The duration is going to be in days, so I'm going to do date diff of order date, comma, ship date, comma, day. That's going to tell me how many days there are between the order date and the ship date. I can add that duration field to the data label. And that tells me this order shipped in 14 days, this order shipped in 4 days. And that's how you build a Gantt chart in Power BI.